Baby Cakes, we got a problem. Man, what were we thinking? This has to come back out, Baby Cakes. What? Everything I just did has to come back out. You have me, and I have you. That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue. Yeah, I have you, and you have me. That puts a bow up in the sky that tells the rain to cease. We've had up, and we've had down. We've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. What I know, this much is true. There ain't a color in the rainbow that shines like you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to It's All Grady. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey, guys. Welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome to our homestead. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that moved from a big city, Denver, Colorado, out here to rural America, north central Arkansas, guys, to start our homestead. Yeah. And part of our homestead is we are building our house, everyone. Yeah. How awesome is that? We didn't even know how to build a house. We're learning. Yeah, everything that we are doing here is from the ground up. And we're so happy that you guys decided to join us today on our journey. Yeah, so today's gonna be pretty crazy, I think. First of all, we got a windstorm going on, guys. So we apologize about the wind, but I've yelled and it doesn't care at all what I got to say. It's gonna blow anyways. Yeah, guys, we got a lot of rain last night. It hit us hard right and we really need to get back up here and get to work right but this is a farm too yeah what do we got to do baby cakes so we're gonna go check on all the animals make sure everything went well last night and then we're gonna jump into work guys because we have a lot to do so let's go take a walk around the homestead real quick and just make sure everything is okay yeah then we'll get back up here guys and we'll get after it heck yeah all right let's get it Alright, so the little babies need some food, I'm sure of it. So if you're just tuning in with us, we've been working really hard on our electrical lately. And one of the things that has been a challenge was getting that main wire in. But we did get it in, guys. They are a little chilly. Alright, so we heard a rumor the other day, two days ago about Sharpie. And if you guys don't already know who Sharpie is, Sharpie is one of our one of our chickens. Like it was a gift, but she's almost OG status. Because she's been around for a while. Or maybe that's even one of Rooster's offsprings. I don't know. It's a chicken and we own it. <laughs> this chicken has been unruly. And she wants to lay here, she wants to lay there, she just thinks she can lay everywhere. This ain't Dr. Seuss, I'm telling you, it's a real story, guys. For real, for real. She's crazy. And we find her little nest, and we collect the eggs, and she abandoned it. abandons that spot and finds a new one. So it's an Easter egg hunt, guys. It's like Easter every day here on the farm. So you found her latest spot, baby? We, we found her latest spot, which is really, really, she must be genius, guys. She's gotta be the smartest chicken on the planet because she finally laid where she's supposed to kinda, almost kinda, lay. It's really crazy that we moved from 80 degree weather to chilly, well, it's really not crazy. It happens, yeah, it was 85 yesterday and it's quite brisk this morning. Out. We don't even get to 70 today. Woo! Wow. Yeah, okay. so how, how crazy is that? She's like, whoa, look at that. That looks like a nesting box to me. And guess what? It is a nesting box. You can nest 20 birds at one time in this thing. Thankfully, we're not. <laughs> Those are some pretty eggs. They are, but I don't know how long they've been there. We could always float test them. Yeah, we'll just collect them and do what we do. Just gonna collect them and do what we do. It's 
stuff around here is an issue. Leaves and... Yeah. There we go. How about that? Awesome. It is not a problem resolved. It is just a problem revealed. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the Leghorn is still with, still with us, hanging out up here, healing, and uh, we still have yet to figure out which flock we're gonna put her in when we put her back down there. So, for now, that's just another thing on the list that we gotta figure out, guys. I don't know if it reminds me of Smarties or Pez, but it's candy. It reminds me of candy. I wonder why my nose is so plugged. Guys, there's these flowers every. There's flowers everywhere, and as beautiful as they are, it comes at a huge price. You heard it. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Yeah, allergies for sure. I don't even know if it's allergies, guys. I think it's so much pollen that it just clogs your nose. It's covered our car, guys. It looks like we were painted yellow. It does. Everything is painted yellow. And when you can wipe up a scoop of it, you breathe in that too. We just got masses of pollen if we're gonna start growing flowers out of our nose. <laughs> See the blackberries blooming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go check it out. So everything is just growing really fast and check it out you guys, we have blackberries everywhere. And these ones look like they're gonna have some with the flowers right here. So here in Arkansas, blackberries grow like crazy and they seem to be pretty much everywhere. Um, we have a lot here on our property, which is a blessing. We may try to make something out of it one day. Well, hello ladies. So we're down here checking out these girls, which are our three pigs that are here on our farm. Hey girls, the three little piggies. Hi, pretty ladies. Good morning. <laughs> they are very nice in my eyes, but Marcel and Gage have other opinions of these girls because they've dealt with them a little bit more. I guess yesterday these girls tore their water bowl, so. We'll have to figure something out, but let's move on guys. So everything's looking good over here. What do you think, babe? I don't think, I didn't say that the pigs were mean. I wasn't disputing whether the pigs were nice. We were discussing that they were calm. They're destructive. <laughs> they've, they've played kickball or faceball, whatever. They use their face a lot, guys, and they beat up those feeders up against the fences they play tug of war with the water bowl they did break out the corner of their house playing whatever probably break dancing in there hopscotch who knows what pigs do when they're in their house but they broke the front and we had to fix it it is constant guys we actually got a bunch of stuff going on down here right now we can't spill all the beans but we'll be down here because it is insanely important to get this done now yeah. and I also have to get the the wiring done now too so it's a lot of divide and conquer going on yeah we've had a lot of stuff going on over the f last few days guys and we're excited to share that stuff with you we are we're just gonna keep moving on and making sure that everything's okay so we can get started with our work today we are so excited about this next step because it's another step closer yeah after we battled all those wires, guys, that hard wire to manipulate, we got a lot of good advice about how to do it. What I don't think people understand is it's like three quarters of an inch thick of like just solid aluminum wire. And then it's coated in PVC, which is hard plastic. So it's not like the pliable stuff that you could use 
anywhere, this stuff is very, very difficult, especially for somebody as unskilled as myself. Like, I'm certain that there's techniques and tricks and stuff like that, but I don't have time to learn a, a trade. What I need to learn is how to make it work just now. And we ended up figuring that out. It was difficult. I was like, man, we might actually be defeated. But in the end, with Baby Cakes' help, I was victorious. 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 Yeah, it was quite a feat to get that one done, but we're so glad that that portion's over because the next steps we have some knowledge on. Mm, yeah, some might say no when they see <laughs> what has happened, but it's still sweet. Look at those peonies are starting to pop out of the buds. Ooh. So when we moved here, there was actually these peony bushes here and they are gorgeous. So I really enjoy sharing them with you guys. Check Somebody out asked. Check out how big the buds are. They said, grandma had peonies. What kind do you have, pink or white? And I said, yes. <laughs> I think it's both. We have the pink and the white. Yeah. You're about to find out because that's a big, humongous flower. Just huge. They're crazy. It's like dinosaur flowers or something. I don't know. This is probably from the Jurassic era. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cavemen were like, whoa, I'm going to get this from a cave, babe. It looks like summer behind you, babe. I don't. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's just early spring, guys. And we already welcome to the jungle. <laughs> I right now. Yesterday we could see leaves in the woods. Today we can't even see through the woods anymore. It's gone. We're back to... You can feel very, very isolated when you live like this. Apple trees are kicking butt. Yeah, the apple trees are doing really well. Looks like all the fences are intact. That's pretty much what we're checking for here. Yeah. Other than that, we're going to go make our rounds to the laundry mat. Yeah, ours is a long journey down our beautiful path to our laundry mat and then back up. If we lived in a castle, the laundry would be on the, in the basement. It's on the west end. <laughs> Actually, that would be more the northeast end of our property okay all right so this is our lower five acres and that's where our laundry room is it's the southeast end y'all it's even got vents when in the I back a red door i just want to paint it black <laughs> all right we're gonna make quick work quick work of this and then get up to the house and get started you guys so we'll see you in a second. Well, now that we have our chores done, babe, what are we up against for the day? Well, I do believe that we can go on a journey, guys. Are you ready to go on an adventure over the last couple of days with us? Because that's where we're at, guys, because the show must go on. But we've started our electrical. Right? And we had a goal. We have a goal. Obviously, we have one continuous goal is to always take the next step forwards. Right. Yeah? And sometimes we only get to end up in the same place we were, but we very rarely go backwards. But when we do, we make a big deal about it. You know what I'm saying? So let's start this adventure off with my wild ideas. Yeah? Because I want this to look sweet. Or, if you understand, the context I want it to look sick is what I want it to look like right and so I got ideas right so our first idea is going to be let's collect some wood some timber pieces right two by fours and such and let's set up a place to attach our wires coming out of that box what do you think of that all right so let's get some boards painted yeah I'll find some two by fours and we'll get them painted right. and then we're gonna tell you what it's all about guys
Now that we've got these boards painted, it's time to go in and figure out what we've got going on. Just so you know, I did put two coats on there, guys, and it looks like burnt wood. But just because I just can't see putting burnt wood and electrical together, I had to paint it. So we painted it and we got the design that I was really hoping for. I'm excited to show you what's going on. Let's get in the house and get it figured out, guys. All right, guys, so one thing that is really, really important to me is that our work isn't isn't basic in like everything that we see every day. So I have a lot of ideas to accomplish this. And one of these ideas was questioned quite a few times in our last video. Some folks were like, how come you didn't attach your panel to a piece of wood? And those are all great questions. I did space my panel out enough that it is like having a piece of wood behind it. But rather than just having some a basic flat board behind me, I I chose to take a few extra steps, guys. And I because I want I want this project to look really good when it's done. And I'm super excited to be able to do this, right? I'm taking extra steps. We're going that extra mile, guys, to make this stuff look sweet. We want it to pop. We are not going to do a whole lot on this wall behind us because this is going to be a service room or a maintenance room or whatever you want to call it. So we want a lot of this stuff to be exposed. We don't have to cover it, but it does have to look good because you guys are going to see it too with me. So now that I've got these boards painted, guys, all I got to do is a few more steps and we can attach it to the wall. All right, guys, now that I've taken those extra steps, what I've done is I've drilled some holes top and bottom of this board, right? Now that that's done, it's time to get it attached to the wall. And I'm about to reveal my super crazy idea. And if you think that it's a bad idea, it's probably a good time to say something. Otherwise, you ready? The big reveal, guys, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Up we go. Bam. What? is that guys this right here is the beginning of my masterpiece okay now everybody that recommended putting a board behind my panel is correct not just because there's a board behind it i really didn't want a board like that up against my block wall what i want is i want to be able to see my block wall so what i've decided to do was to frame out this wall with some spaces in between it. It's going to be skeletonized, if you will. It's going to be very, very tactical. Huh? Tactic cool is what I'm talking about. Bam! Come on, guys. That's a white wall. These are black boards. Yeah, the yellow wire's the yellow wire. If I could have my choice, it would be something different, but it is. This is a 12-2 wire, so it is what it is. But it's going to look very good, guys. We're coming out of the panel with these wires, right? And we're going to attach them nice and straight, nice and even, and it's gonna look real sweet. Attaching this board, guys, I did put, so it's painted all the way around with two coats, and I did put some of that bug shield. So there's a barrier between the concrete wall and our board with that bug shield, sill seal, or whatever it's called, guys. The stuff you're supposed to put between wood and concrete. We got it in there. Knowing this now, guys, I want you to try to imagine because this is how this Frankenstein is going to come to pass, yeah? My next board will be right next to this one. Just barely, yeah? But there'll be a gap and we can run more wires up. 
And if you guys don't already know, we have another panel that I'm super excited to hook up to this wall here, which will bring that framing out here. And this whole wall in the end is just gonna look sweet. I'm telling you right now, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to show you guys. But we have a transfer, a manual transfer switch that we're excited to hook up here too. So when that day comes, guys, it's just gonna be like, at least for me, you know what I mean? Backing it up, guys. We got to back it up. Sometimes I, I put the cart before the horse. You may not know that about me. And then the, the cart just runs away and the horse is standing there going, what the heck's going on, guys? So now that we've got these boards painted, guys, I need to attach it. Once I got this board attached, guys, I need to be able to attach the power over where we're going to decide to put it. That's some extra steps, guys. If you don't already know, in a, a few videos ago, I painted this wall. Right? I had to paint this wall, this section here. I know we should paint it all, but we couldn't. So, but now we can start getting some painting done. This painting is required, guys, to seal this block up before we start covering it up with things like our panel, right? Well, I have to continue that same process, guys. That same theory, the same method is required. So I have to paint over there, guys, before I can put anything over there. So let's get that done. How about that? far too long but now i'm on my way back home i hear the west winds calling i'm my name they telling me to head your way down your road and past your gates keep your eyes on the horizon i was looking to belong when i'd already found For the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong When I already found Now that we've got that coat on there, let's start pulling some wire. Before I can determine how much wire I need, we need to determine where we're pulling the wire to. So we've already done that. It's not real cryptic. I've painted over there in the corner. That's where Baby Cakes' office is currently. That will eventually be Gage's bedroom. The next thing to do is to decide what style are we doing. We're going to do the plugs first, all the outlets first, at least most of them. <clears throat> Keeping that in mind, we're doing the outlets first. I can run, now correct me if I'm wrong, some people might have a different perspective, but we are running 20 amp breakers and we are using 12-2 wire. With that combination, I should be able to run 8 to 10 receptacles. Now, that 10 is on the top end of it. Guys, we're gonna stay in the range of like six to eight plug because I'm really, really trying to be more cautious. I bought a bigger panel, why not just thin it out some? We don't need to overload circuits, right? So, the one thing that we have to do though, guys, is we have to have a junction box. What is a junction box, you ask? That's a great question. That's a place where you're gonna have a huge junction of wires, right? We will run one wire, up from a breaker to our junction box once we determine where that junction box can go then we know the length of that wire from that point guys we can figure out the lengths of the other wires because it'll be one wire from the box to the junction box and it will be six to eight wires coming out of that junction box going to each one of our receptacles bam how about that guys that's pretty sweet man i'm sounding like i'm a professional but you guys know i'm not just playing one on YouTube, guys. Just playing one. All right, guys, let's figure out where this box has got to go. 
All right, guys. So you've seen it and you can see it. We have decided to put our junction box on this floor joist. Why on this floor joist? In my mind, guys, this is about the center of what Gage's room will end up being. Close to center, yeah? So we've decided we could centralize the J-Box, run our main wire to this J-Box. Our floor joists, guys, have all these knockouts in them. We don't even have to cut it if we don't want to. We could do these knockouts and run our wires this way, run our wires that way, run our wires that way. We can get all of our receptacles in here from center of the ceiling. I've already wired my ground up to this box, guys, and my pieces are ready. All we gotta do is pull some wire. So, so far, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm on point. If you guys think I am making a mistake, right now is a good time. Put it in the comments down below, guys. We gonna blaze right on to the next one. What's next? Bam! I'm gonna tell you what's next. We gotta pull some wire. Time to pull the wire, right? How do we pull that? We got a thousand feet of wire, guys, a thousand feet. And this wire is on a spool. So we have to come up with an idea. So if you follow me, you ready? Watch this. Follow me, let's go down. Bam! What did we do? We took two cinder blocks, guys, and put a piece of rebar. Thanks, Dad. Dad's idea, I'm gonna run with it. He's never, ever, well, I won't, I'll just say that Dad's idea is pretty good. All right, guys, now that we got this on a spool, we can easily pull this wire. Yeah, look at that. Look how easy that is. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Why do it the hard way? All right, guys. We've got our we've got our little setup over here. We've got our direction. It's time to start pulling some wire. Wow, you guys, that is so exciting. We are making big progress today on all the things that we wanted to get done. Babe, it really looks good in here. I'm so surprised at just the organization of this. It is amazing, guys. Baby Cakes, we got a problem. What? Hmm. Man, what were we thinking? This has to come back out, Baby Cakes. What? Everything I just did has to come back out. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, man, what in the world was I thinking? All right, guys. I guess uh, I guess it's probably a good time to to wrap this one up because I made a mistake. I'll let you know what that mistake is. If you already know, holla. But you probably don't because I haven't told you. What is going on over here? Yeah, but you may. I bet you Big Jim knows what I did wrong. What did I do wrong, Big Jim? <laughs> You're gonna catch it, my brother. All right, guys, here's what I did wrong. And I'm not exactly sure that it's wrong, but this floor joist right here, guys, is also going to double as part of the framing for our stair entry, right? So this one stays. I really don't want I really don't want any wires on this board all the way down if I can help it. I don't think it's probably that big of a deal because it gets framed in and boxed in. But while we are here with brand new construction, it's time to fix this right now. Not a big deal, guys. I didn't ruin the wire. I didn't waste the wire. We are just going to reroute the wire to this side. Huh? All right, guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to move this junction box to the other side to this floor joist and we'll run the wire down i i left a little bit of extra on that end guys some call it a service loop some call it a waste i'm gonna call it a service loop because i'm gonna need that little extra loopy loop right there i'm gonna just tell you that right now all right guys i think it's time for us to wrap this up we will surprise you guys next time with the fix and some some super awesome steps guys there's things that are coming up that we don't even understand we are going to get it fixed and get this power ran where we need it exactly we're not going to let this slow us down it's not a huge mistake worst case is i may damage some of those wire clips that are used to pin down the the wire but i'm going to try to be gentle and we're just going to move the stuff over 
and we're going to start banging away at getting baby cakes power on this wall and we're super excited to share that with you guys we are so we do not have a layout for our electrical but we are going by the guidelines that are laid out in the building codes so we'll be doing what we can to stay within those realms for, but for now we're going to get this box moved and figure out our next steps guys all right you guys we're going to leave you off with that and then we'll catch you guys on the next one so if you guys are enjoying our content please be sure to give us a big thumbs up bam Ring that notification bell. Heck yeah, guys. When you do that, they're going to notify you when our content is available for viewing. That is a TV guide. An internet TV guide. And I don't know if you guys know this, but one day a TV guide might cost a million dollars. <laughs> this one is free. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, right now is the perfect time. I've spilled the beans. I've made the mistake. We found the fix. Baby Cakes is right. We are working on no real design here. We're just working on basic understandings, right? And we're going to move from there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, right now is a perfect time to subscribe. You know, we just spilled the beans on the mistake that was made, right? And we found a solution. We're going to go for it. It's a perfect time right now. And it feels good. Spring's time's here, guys. Subscribe. All right, you guys. Thanks good. for watching. Good news, guys. The parents made us breakfast. It's time for us to oh. eat. We're gonna let you do your own. We're gonna let you guys go now. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Bye.